Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a really nice smooth scrolling effect on your Wix Studio website. Now, what I'm about to show you is actually discovered by either Hardik or Hardik's team from the Visual Identity YouTube channel. And he's also the one that showed you guys how to create that amazing header from his award-winning website in the last video. But he actually requested that I make a video showing off this new technique. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, what do I mean by a smooth scroll effect? Well, when I scroll down the website and scroll back up, you can see just how reactive the website is. But let's say we want to go for an effect where when we scroll down the website and we scroll back up, it just has a nice smooth scrolling feel to it. In order to do that, we're actually not even going to be spending any time in the editor because what we're going to be using is custom code. So it is important to know if you want to use custom code on your website, you will need a premium plan and domain for the website, or at least a premium plan. Um, maybe not the domain, but I mean, obviously, if you if you already have a premium plan, you might as well get a domain as well. And the code that we're going to be using will, of course, be linked in the description. It's on the Visual Identity website, so I will have that linked in the description. So for today's video, what we're actually going to do is head on over to the website dashboard, and then the left-hand side, we're going to click on Settings. Then we're going to scroll all the way down. Down to the advanced options and select custom code. Over here in the top right, we'll be able to add custom code. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And then we can paste in the code right here. For the name, I'm just gonna call this one smooth scrolling tutorial. You can leave out the tutorial part. And we are going to apply this to all pages, or we can even choose a specific page if we only want this effect to be on one. But typically, just for consistency, you're gonna to want to leave this on all pages and you're gonna make sure that the code is selected on the head. Now, if I just go ahead and press apply, if I head on back over to the live website and refresh the page, we should now have a little bit nicer of a smooth scroll effect. Now, I will say the effect amount that I applied in my code was a little less drastic. So if you want, what you can do is go back over to your custom code settings, press edit settings, and in this little code snippet here, we can scroll all the way down and until we find one that says wheel multiplier. If we lower this down to like 0.3 and press apply, and if we head on back over to the live website and refresh, then you can see as I scroll down how much slower it is and how smooth it is. If I change directions really quickly, you can see it's not as reactive as it was without the code. And it just makes everything so buttery smooth. And I think this is like such a cool effect and I'm proud of Hardy from the Visual Identity YouTube channel for finding this out. I know this is gonna be an effect I'm gonna start using on a lot of websites. That's basically gonna wrap it up for today's quick little video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like. And also don't forget to subscribe to Visual Identity's YouTube channel. That will also be linked in the description below. Thank you all again for watching and I will see you all in the next one.